Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be covering four Shopify settings that you can customize to help to improve your Shopify store. And customizing some of these settings can also possibly help the branding of your store and your conversion rate. I'll be covering ways you can customize your checkout page, your shipping settings, your product pages, and more. You'll just need an active Shopify account to follow this video. Also, if you are a newbie to Shopify, or if you're currently doing a test run with your Shopify store, I do have a link that you guys can use so that you can get your first three months on Shopify for just $1. The link for where you can sign up will be linked in my description box below. For the first Shopify setting that you can customize in your store, this will be your checkout page setting. When you go to open up your checkout page, it's gonna be this page here that says checkout and customer accounts. And this will be the official checkout page for your store. Your checkout page is separate from your cart page. So your checkout page will be the official page where your customers can complete their order. A huge setting option that you have to customize for your checkout page. This is a setting that can be often overlooked and this will be your checkout page layout. You'll have the option to choose if you would like a one page checkout or if you would like to create a three step checkout. For example, when you select the three page checkout option, basically up here, this will allow your customers to go through three simple pages to complete the checkout for their purchase. It can help to eliminate your customers from having to fill out all their information on that one main page. So off to the left of your screen, under settings is where you can customize the overall display and customization of your checkout page. You can choose to insert your logo and that will add your logo to the top of your checkout page. You can increase the display of your logo and also the alignment settings. And then under background one and background two, you'll have the option to adjust the background colors for your cart page. Then you can adjust the element colors and text fields. Once customers leave your cart page to check out, they'll be taken to the information page first where they can add their contact and shipping details. Then next, they can head to the shipping page. On the shipping page, your customers can choose their shipping method. Then they can also confirm and review their shipping details and contact details that they've entered. Then they can simply go to the payment page. And this is where they can insert their payment information. Creating a three page checkout can possibly fit your store a little bit better, depending on the products you sell and the amount of details that you need your customers to insert in before completing their order. For example, if you sell customized products where you allow customers to customize their order or add special order notes, you may want to select the three page checkout option so that your customers can have separate pages to review their order details and also their customization notes. However, if you have a more traditional type of store, a one page checkout may suit your store a little bit better. To view your website, you wanna click this full screen icon to take a look at the display of your checkout page and you can also select the phone icon if you would like to see an example of how the mobile version may appear. And that is a setting in your online store that you can customize for your store's checkout page. Also, if you guys are starting a Shopify store and you're stressing about how to make your store look good without spending a ton of hours designing your entire website from scratch, I do have this Shopify theme template available for you guys to use. I have a line of Shopify themes designed for beauty and cosmetic businesses along with other Shopify themes designed for clothing, dropshipping, hair, and even coaching businesses. And all of my themes come with an installation guide that walks you through the step-by-step -step setup for how to install the Shopify theme into your store. The setup process is pretty simple. You'll just wanna open Shopify and in your themes page, you'll be able to upload the theme zip file into your store. And once it uploads, you'll be able to customize the theme and also publish it. Having a Shopify theme can help your store to look clean, professional, and ready to launch. If you're ready to get your store looking polished without spending weeks learning how to code or put together your website, I will link my Shopify theme templates in my description box below. Next, I'll be covering a hack that you can do to display your shipping settings on your cart page. Usually when a customer is on your website, they'll find out about your shipping settings either in the description box of your product or when they get to your website's checkout page where they may be able to review your shipping settings. But one of the best ways to make sure that your customers know what your shipping settings are and what your shipping times are would be to display that information on other parts of your website, like your cart page or even your website's announcement bar. I'll be showing you how you can add a cart announcement setting to your website's cart page. This way customers can review your shipping details right before they place their order. This can help to reduce any customer confusion about your shipping times. On Shopify, you'll want to open your themes page and this is where you can go in to customize your currently published website. Once you open your website, you want to open up your cart page. This is the page where your customers can add products and then they can head over to the checkout page to complete their order. I'm gonna start off by adding an example product to the cart page. 
so you can get a little bit of an idea of the current layout of my cart page. So at the top of your cart page, right underneath your header bar, you can click this plus icon and then you can select add section to template. This will allow you to add a new section to your website's cart page. I'll be selecting to insert a multi-column section. Here in each of the columns on the multi-column, this is where you can begin listing any important shipping details that you would like your customers to see before they start the checkout process for the product. I'll be covering how you can customize this section. To start, I'll be removing this heading text. Then I'm also gonna remove this button label. This way we're left with mainly just the columns of this section. And if you would like, you can choose to remove the secondary background of the columns. And this will be your section that you can use for displaying any important shipping details or shop announcements. I'm gonna click on the first column. Then under the description field, is where you can list those shipping details. Once you've added your text, you'll have different editing options for how you can customize the appearance of your text. You can choose to put the text in bold, and you can also increase the size of the text. If you also need to, you can select your text, and you can select this link icon, and this will allow you to link your text to your shipping policies page. This way, if customers wanna read more about your store shipping policy, they can do so when they click on the text on this section of your cart page. Then I'm gonna click on the next column, and this is where you can repeat similar steps to add any more shipping details or shop announcements that you would like to display on your cart page. Here I've added a shipping announcement to display an example express delivery announcement. And for an example, if you need to remove any of the columns, you'll just simply want to click on that column and you can either click this delete icon or you can also select remove block. And if you're not too sure that you would like to remove that block, you can select this hide icon to hide that column from the multi-column section. Then you'll want to click on your multi-column and next to number of columns on desktop, you can reduce the number of columns that you have displayed. Then when you view your website in full screen, you'll be able to see those shipping announcements displayed on your cart page. This way your customers will not be able to miss your store's shipping details when they are about to order their product. And you do have additional editing options for this section in case you would like to customize it further. So you can customize the color scheme of the section and you can even adjust the column alignment. And that is how to add a shipping announcement section to your cart page. Next, I'll be showing you a setting that you can customize on your product pages. Customizing your product media gallery can affect the overall display of the layout of your product page. It can play a huge impact in how your photos are displayed and arranged on your product pages. So this is currently my product page. On the left is the product media gallery and I've just added some example photos. Then on the right would be the information about the product. I'll be showing you how you can customize your product media gallery in case you would like to adjust the arrangement of your photos. You want to click on your product information box so that you can begin customizing this section of your product page. And here you'll have a variety of editing options for ways that you can customize this section. And here under media it is primarily where you can customize the display of the product photos. To start, you can customize the desktop media width. This will adjust the setting of how much overall space your product photos take up on a desktop view. Next to media fit, you can select original or you can select for the main photo to fill this section of the screen. Next to desktop layout, this is where you can adjust the layout of the arrangement of your photos. Currently it is set to stacked, but for an example, I'm gonna set it to thumbnail carousel. This will arrange your photos to display one main photo and then the other photos will display smaller right below it. And that is the thumbnail carousel setting. You can also select, for example, the two columns setting, and this will display two photos at a time on your product page. Depending on the type of product you're selling and also on how many product photos you have, you can play around with the different desktop layouts to select which one best displays your product photos. I've set this back to stacked. Then next to desktop media position, this is where you can choose if you would like the photos to display on the left side or the right side of the screen on a desktop display. For the image zoom setting, this will adjust the action that happens when a customer hovers over your main photo or when they click on your main product picture. Currently, it is set to open lightbox, but you can choose if you would like to apply a different setting. So if you apply the click and hover, this will allow people to click on that product photo and hover over it to zoom in and take a closer look at the product. You can also choose to select the no zoom feature so that no action will happen when a customer clicks on that main photo. Then to view your product page on a mobile device, you can click this phone icon to take a look at an example of how your product page can appear on a mobile device. And that is a way that you can customize your product media gallery for your product pages. 
And then for the next Shopify setting, this will be a setting that some sellers may overlook in their Shopify store. This will be to customize your website's favicon setting. I'll be showing you where you can go to set your website's logo and also where to set your website's favicon. On Shopify, you'll want to customize your website. Then you'll want to open theme settings and then you'll want to open this logo section. This is the section where you can set your website's logo next to desktop logo width. This is where you can choose to reduce the size of your logo and you can also increase the display of the logo as well. Next to favicon image, when you click select, this is where you'll be able to upload your favicon image for your website. And once you're done, it's that simple to set your website's favicon. Uploading your favicon can help to make your store look more professional and it can help to make your store look more trustworthy in browser tabs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget, I will have this Shopify theme linked in my description box below. And I also have a line of other Shopify themes designed for a variety of different businesses. I will link where you can go browse those in the description box below.